Hey, the 762 by 39 I'm just going to do a little rant, uh, really about, I mean, most of my reviews are about guns and stuff like that, but I really want to get into uh, silver, just talk about it, kind of break it down so you guys, maybe anyone who watch it, maybe want to get involved with it. Um, as most of you guys know, you know, the dollar's devaluing every day. Every week, the Federal Reserve, which is no more federal than, you know, Federal Credit Union or any type of federal name. It's just a name. I mean, it's they're not a federal branch of the government. It's just a name to really fool people and make them believe that, oh, well, it's part of the government. They know what they're doing which we all know they don't, but anyways, that's off subject. They're printing millions of dollars a week, furthering, causing inflation to the dollar. I mean, right now, I believe, uh, for one dollar, you exchange it, uh, say you're in Britain, you give them a dollar, I think our dollar's worth, like, 63 pence, I think that's how they, s they're not cents, I think they're pence over there, so basically, you get 63 Basically, you get 63 of their cents back for our dollar. And it used to be over a 2 to 1 ratio. But, um, you know, like I said, silver is going down and down every day. Uh, sorry, so not silver. My mistake. The dollar is going down every day. Silver tips going up and up. Um, of course, you know, if you pay attention to the markets, you know, you'll notice there's small influxes and defluxes. You know, it'll be like... 31.40 and then go up to 31.50 and maybe 31.80 and then go back down a little bit. It's kind of just does a little roller coaster there. Uh, but for all you educated people, you know that silver is uh, manipulated. It's uh, manipulated on purpose because um, if the real price of silver per ounce should be about $923 an ounce and gold should probably be over I can't think I think it's over 50 over 50 or 53,000 dollars per ounce but I know that silver should be about 923 an ounce right now in the current state of our economy is in um, in about the late 1800s early 1900s we had about 12 Maybe 11, 12, 13 billion, that's a B, billion uh, tons of above ground silver. And then, fluxing to the 50s, that totally devalued to about three, uh, I think three, three billion. And um, once we got to about 2010, it uh, increased, sorry, decreased to. Uh, I'd say around anywhere from 700 million to 300 million above the ground tons in tons. Now this is all in tons above ground silver. And keep in mind that when a new silver mine opens, it takes at least 10 years for that silver mine, well, six to eight, six to 10 years for that silver mine to produce a single ounce of good 999, you know, pure refined ounce of silver. That's just to produce one ounce of good, refined, pure silver. It takes about that six to ten years. Now, a lot of these older silver mines are running dry. You know, they've dug what they've dug, and they can't get no more. So, you've got these new mines opening, which, like I said, takes time for them to pull it up. So, these silver mines that are can't keep up with demand because the demand for silver far outweighs, you know, the production of it. And uh, I believe, what, last year... The demand and, and the demand and supply was real bad. I believe we were undersupplied over a hundred hundred million tons of silver, and so and the, and the thing is, the main consumer of silver is the industry. A lot of it is consumed by industry because it's you know it's you know just the uh, conductivity of it. Uh, it's heavily used in a like. A, I can't think of the name right now. Solar energy panels. There you go. Solar panels. It's heavily used. Silver is heavily used in solar panels. If you don't believe me, you can always research it. Um, 
as well. Silver is heavily used in the medical field uh, for burn victims and stuff. They, uh, you know, specially infuse silver and fibers in it. Silver is a natural antimicrobial, so it bacteria and shit like that don't grow on it. Um, and you know, silver is just a great investment. Why put your money into, you know, the 401k or IRAs when you're just putting your money into nothing? Our government, you know, our government says our dollar is backed by gold, but it's not. It's funny when they showed, showed you know, the back, what, in the 70s or 80s, they had that little in, a documentary on the federal, the on the uh, Fort Knox, and they only showed them one room out of everything. All other rooms, just one room, and then happened to have gold in it. So, I'm pretty sure most of our gold and silver supply that we would use for value, gold more so, because it's never had a really large industri industrial use, has been you know, sold out to the Chinese and everyone else we know of debt to. And, you know, going to private bankers and central banks, unfortunately, and basically our country is being raped from under our feet and of course you have sheeple with their little goggles on walking in a straight line and here they go walking under an axe getting cut in half and of course they can't see it because all they can see is straight ahead of them they don't know what's around them so they just kind of go with the flow and watch your football and drink your beer and drink your fluoride water and eat your MSGs and be happy so anyway it's starting to rain again I get kind of mad about this kind of stuff I would just just invest your money, even if you have extra money, to silver and put it back. Because eventually, just like in 1984, when silver went up to, I think it was, I don't know if it was 50 or $500 an ounce. I don't know exactly. I think there was an economic type crisis in 1984 and something happened and silver shot way up. And it was high like that for a while. But, you know... If I was smarter back in 99 when silver was like five bucks an ounce, of course I was really young and I didn't know anything about that. So, But, you know, silver's still cheap, guys. About, I think the market right now is like 31.50 an ounce. You know, that's still really cheap considering, like I said, it should be worth 9.23. And when that, you know, the bubble collapses and everything just implodes, and that dollar is just, you see dollars flying in the street, just no more of use than a piece of paper that fell out of someone's pocket it, the only thing you're gonna have is either commodities to trade your gold which gold is good but silver is just a better investment um pretty much silver is the poor man's gold but my, my word silver will become more valuable than gold because as much as you probably wouldn't Believe me, I, I advise you to research everything I say for yourself, just so you can know it for yourself, it's facts. Um, silver will become almost extinct because we're going to mine it out of existence. And, you know, all the silver that we do use, we just throw it away in landfills, whatever, throw it away. All the old circuitry we use, we use it as, you know, soldering connections, conductivity, like I said, there's, there's hundreds not in thousands of uses for it in the industry and that's where it's considered an industrial metal so and it's being manipulated to stay at a cheap low price so nobody will want to do it and get into it so when you have all these people who have their paper worthless money and stocks and bonds they look at silver like well look at silver it's going up and then down up and down like it's no balance to it and harmony was well, because it's being manipulated to do that to deter people from buying it in the first place but anyway guys I just really advise you to please please just get silver that way you have you know your family can have a future you'll have you know something to trade for uh, something to be worth you know a shit ton of money and you know it's just good you know it's good to actually you know have food and ammunition and uh, weapons but you guys also need to have silver or something to trade with and of course there's other things you can alcohol alcohol will be a big bartering item um, you look at alcohol right now uh, a lot of these major alcohol companies are uh, watering down their liquor and they're proofing it on the labels this proof, watered proof you know it's watering down 
It's like because they can't keep up with the demand. I don't know what the demand is so high for. I don't know if people are buying it, putting it back because they know what's going to happen. But that's happened now with the liquor market. So I mean, it kind of gives you a hint towards something. But uh, liquor be a big trading item. Uh, another good thing for y'all to invest in is antibiotics. If you can get antibiotics from Mexico, uh, you know, buy them, keep them in a deep freeze store or storage, keep them buried for frozen and fresh. Stay good for a long, long, long time, probably 10, 15 years. Keep them in a, you know, sub-zero climate. But antibiotics will be the major thing. Um, food, of course, but if you have weapons and ammunition, you can always hunt for your food. And when I hunt, I mean physically for you to go out there and get an animal yourself, not hunt other people to take their food. Like some people will, unfortunately. But that's why we got sheep dogs, you know what I'm saying? But... I don't know guys, there I go renting again, but silver, buy the silver while it's still cheap, because you can, you know, a lot of places you can buy online for cheap, try to invest around, um, like I said, a, a fair price for an ounce of silver, I would say is about thirty-one fifty ish um, of course, you know, you're not, you gotta pay a 3%, if you say you buy online, uh, you have to pay a 3%, charge if it's a card if you're buying say an ounce just an ounce from a card uh, silver or gold a precious metal company they're going to charge you three percent on top of what the price is plus the shipping so you do that or and uh, I'd say a fair price for a five ounces is your next big step one to five about five ounces is uh, maybe a hundred and uh, seventy dollars be a fair price um, 160, 170. Um, for 10 ounces, I would pay maybe 3, 320, anywhere between 320 and 330 mark, um, depending on your prints. I mean, your mints and your, of course, your prints, the designs and all that. It, it really doesn't matter because when shit hits the fan, silver is silver is silver. It doesn't matter what picture it has, and it's still the same value. But I just want to let you guys know you know, buy silver. Do it soon before it's too late. God bless.